Hi, everyone, and thank you for coming. Uh, we hold these seminars once every quarter for our clients to share with them uh, the most recent um, strategies and trends in the online space. And you know, if there's one constant in the digital market, is constant change, continual change. Uh, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, when I first got into this industry a little over 15 years ago, uh, the first website that I worked on was the New York Jets. And all it was was a simple image with one line of text under it. Now, if you recall the 14.4K modem days, that image took three minutes to load. All right? And it was very exciting for people to see this. It's like they would look at it and just jump up and down, and they couldn't wait till it loaded. Fast forward, 17 years later, just two years, two, a year and a half ago, we make a website for the Green Bay Packers that sells $200 million in under five business days. We went from making a website where, that just loaded an image in less than two decades to a website that sells $200 million in four days. That's, I mean, that's called real change, if you will. Um, and the internet has really transformed three major things in our lives. One is how we access information. Two is how we communicate with each other. And three is our decision-making process. I mean, going to Google and doing a search is secondary nature. It's today, I mean, I don't know how many people have yellow pages still or look up newspapers, references, but it's second nature. And we do it in our cell phones. We do it at our home PCs, anywhere and everywhere. We do searches. Uh, social uh, media is no longer a place where you just talk to your friend, but it's a place where you meet new people and also you could be influenced there. And what I've seen happen is that there are two types of companies. The ones that embrace change and understand that, okay, this is not something we just come, with, come out with one time and just let it sit. And there are those that are resistant to it. If you are resistant to it, you have what we call lost opportunity. And that is a number one metric that companies do not measure, lost opportunity. They all measure their conversion rates and their traffic. Oh, I don't need a mobile site right now. Well, if you were here for our last seminar, we had Chris here from Google, who talked about decision-making process is made across multiple platforms. People very few people, less than 3%, will go on a single device and make a decision. You know, you start your morning, you're going to look at your cell phone while you're waiting for the train or waiting for your elevator. Then you go on your PC at work or your Mac. And then at nighttime, you might go on your iPad. The decision-making process for the consumer is made across multiple media. It is not made on a single device sitting down at one time. And for any company that says, well, we, got a mobile site. we don't need a mobile site, we need to do marketing, that's a big mistake. You don't do marketing from a mobile site. And I've sat down with clients where we've seen 40% of the traffic go to mobile, and they don't have a mobile site, so guess what? Their competitors are eating away their traffic. So you cannot just stand still. You have to embrace change. You have to understand first that this is going to continue. All right, now we got wearable devices, Google Glasses, smartwatches, talking to our wallet, to our phones. Our phones are becoming our wallets soon in two, three years' time. Uh, there was just an article this morning, again, about Google Wallet. This is going to replace not just your pictures, but it's going to replace your cash, your credit card, your information, your access, everything. Okay, and companies that embrace this understand that, yes, we have to appreciate. It's a pain in the butt. Believe me, I know it, because our team has to constantly stay on top of it. If we understand that, all right, marketing is constantly changing, how we communicate, how we get our message out there, how we create a following is constantly changing. The same rules that apply to uh, SEO, let's take SEO for example. 10 years ago, changed every year till today they're completely obsolete and the rules are completely different today today social media has an effect on seo whoever saw that coming so 
if you want to have an edge in your competition, you got to be on the cutting edge.